Well, that is the theme song from the Long Story Dating Game, and it is a change of tune for Chris Abel's <laughs> Innovation Cafe, which is brought to you by Kobo. So tell us about this um, dating slash adventure game for teens. Yes, this is a mobile adventure set out for teens. It plays out like a visual novel. So you arrive at a high school, starting a new school year, you have to make decisions in terms of dealing with the different students, the bullies, all those awkward situations that arrive. And then along the way comes the opportunity to get involved with having a boyfriend or a girlfriend. So here is Miriam Verberg, who's the executive producer, talking about their very healthy approach to creating a game that deals with dating. To me, it seems dating has become far more risky for kids, even than it was when I was younger, like in the sense of that they feel very keenly their sense of failure if something doesn't work out. I mean, it is always heartbreaking to be young and to not have had much dating experience and then to have something not work out. But also I remember from being young that like, you know, there was a lot of platitudes about there's a lot of fish in the ocean, you're still young. And like, it didn't really help. Like it still felt like this was a thing I had to do. And if I didn't do it well, I was definitely a failure. And what I wanted to do was create a game which said, you know, dating is actually, especially when you're young, kind of akin to like trying a new hobby. Like you're going to hang out with this person for a while. You're going to see if it works. And if it doesn't, no harm, no foul. Like you'll get over it. You're still young. And do that in a way where it isn't just a platitude, where they can actually experience that idea of, I can try to do this, and if it doesn't work out for me, it doesn't mean that I'm a bad person, and it doesn't mean that the other person is a bad person, and it doesn't mean that I'm a social reject. It just means we didn't make it, you know? Like, make a positive experience of the fact that most of the time love does not work out. Now, the game does explore themes of lesbian, gay, bi, but what was cool is that you can actually create the character that matches your gender and your orientation. And this creates the opportunity for Long Story to be able to offer young kids the chance to explore these themes in a way that's far more accessible than previous generations. When I was younger, we didn't have a whole lot of LGBTQ stuff when I was 14 or 15. Like, it didn't start until we got to university. And so from now on, I think for kids, they have a lot more latitude to bring that up or to experience it. So they'll know much younger if they're, as my sister-in-law says, bendy, you know, like somewhere on the spectrum or if they're definitely gay. But that can have a huge impact on friendships. Like, what if you think you might be into dating a person of the same sex and then you decide, like, maybe I just have a really strong friend crush and maybe I want to be friends with this person and now we have to negotiate that we thought we were dating, but actually we're good friends. Like these are all things that most parents and teachers maybe didn't experience when they were in school. But we know that kids are going to go through a, okay, I thought I was a boy who wanted to have a boyfriend, but it turns out that I'm a boy who just really has strong friendships and strong emotions. And, and now I have to tell my boyfriend that maybe I'm not gay, but I still really want to be his really good friend. And what do I do? <laughs> you know? It's a huge opportunity for kids that they get to feel a lot more loose about these things so that they can experience really, really rich friendships that don't necessarily slide into these boxes of like, is that your boyfriend or your girlfriend? Mm, that's a I mean, great, great idea. Yeah. Great idea. Now, you are here to answer the question, can a robot make the perfect cup of tea? Yeah, thanks to a company called T-Bot. They have these robotic kiosks that can take 18 blends of loose leaf tea and by adjusting the temperature and the water and the weight, give you 10,000 different combinations that you can make all using a touchscreen. I spoke to the co-founder, Brian Lee, about where the idea came from and, well, it all began with his mom in Sudbury. My mom and my aunt decided to start a new business when they retired and I guess they're just bored and they started a tea shop, which is pretty cool. People in the suburb really loved it. You know, they were into it, and like it just dawned on us that like my mom and my aunt had stumbled onto something, right? Which is that it, this is the age of tea. It's a new category. It's it's healthy. With T-Bot, the goal is that it's, it's your cup. So build it the way you want to drink it. We don't just say, you know, mix three ingredients to get equal parts. Like, you made a rooibos and a strawberry, right? If you want it to be more rooibos which is very earthy, or you want more strawberry flavors, right? you can really play around with that. So if you're a person who really loves your strawberry jam, you can make it 80% versus, you know, someone who might not be, who just wants a hint of it. You can play around with it, explore it. It'll get there. We're a little behind the eight ball for tea as a category for a grab-and-go. And so what this can do is hopefully bump us up there. So I asked Brian, what's your favorite tea? So most recently I'm trying our yerba mate mixed with caramel nut oolong. Some people actually don't like it on our team because the yerba mate is very um, raw, earthy kind of flavor to it. It's very strong and it makes it with something very caramel nutty oolong. It's, it's very millennial, it's very young, it's very delicious. And as we start off a new year, he has a book to recommend for those who are starting off a new venture by Jeffrey Moore. 
The book is Crossing the Chasm. Basically, uh, offers insights into the problems and strategies that most tech companies, software specifically, face as they grow the business. So it actually ties back into the whole startup ecosystem where people always tell anecdotes and help guide you based on their own experiences. So it's a good starting point. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Chris Abel's Innovation Cafe is brought to you by Kobo Open Up. Kobo makes it easier to access the stories you love and discover new ones in an instant. Over 5 million ebooks, a personalized reading experience, and points earned with every purchase. Visit kobo.com today and open up.